September 9th, and the Buffalo Bills prepare to open the 1962 American Football League season with the following lineup. At center, Al B. Miller. The left guard, Billy Shaw. Right guard, Tom Day. At left tackle, Stu Barber. Right tackle, Harold Olson. Left end, Glenn Bass. The right end, Ernie Warlick. Left halfback, Ray Carlton. Right halfback, Albert Duvenian. The fullback, Cookie Gilchrist. And quarterback, Al Doro. The Bills were beaten in their first five games, and they lost just about every way imaginable. Against the champion Houston Oilers, it was too little too late, as the Bills' second half rally fell short. in the New York game, including this Buffalo touchdown that was nullified by a holding penalty. Against Dallas in the Cotton Bowl, Abner Haynes went 71 yards on the first play from scrimmage, and that was just the beginning of a long, torturous afternoon in the Texas sun. had it won until the final period on efforts like these. Then everything went haywire and the game was lost in the final minute of play. We have uh, real fine personnel here, and I know a lot of the fans are probably getting discouraged, but I tell you the truth, the boys I don't think are really discouraged because they realize the personnel we have, and uh, each game we still believe that we can go on and win all the rest of them. When we do start working as a unit instead of individuals, uh, We'll have as good a defense as, uh, as in the American way. I agree with you, family, and of course all of us have more or less bound ourselves together and kind of gotten closer together with the idea that from here on we've got to scrap and we've got to struggle for all we can get. The Bills refused to quit and struck hard against San Diego the following week. Crow runs 49 yards on this fake punt in the opening period. A ramp to the Benyon pass produces a touchdown. Beauty nails Glenn Bass in the second period, and the speedy North Carolinian goes 76 yards for the score. Cookie Gilchrist blasts off left tackle for 20 yards to set up another touchdown. The defense chimed in with timely interception. 
Al Sharon lugged this step back 51 yards, and Buffalo knocked on the door again. The Chargers were home, so Crow went in. Crow tops off a fine night's work on this play. A trap up the middle, good for 50 yards. One thousand thirty-seven fans watch Cookie at his magnificent best in the rain and mud against Oakland. The big guy gains 143 yards as the Bills earn a rating of superior mutters. Here, Gilchrist goes for 18. pass that sets up the initial touchdown. Crow back to punt. And look at this. Here's a pretty good demonstration of the Bills' awesome ground power. Cookie. Twice more for 48 total yards and a touchdown in four plays. Quarterback Warren Rabb's finest hour. He triggers one of the great comebacks of any year at Denver. Carlton high balls 51 yards to set up a touchdown that brought the Bills from a 24-7 deficit to within striking distance in the first half. Cookie stampedes for 44 yards early in the third period. later, the big fullback drives the last 10, and it was close. Denver exploded to a 38-23 lead with 11 minutes remaining, and then the fun began. Grab to DeBenyon, 75 yards and a touchdown. It's Glenn Bass gathering in a 40-yard bomb. With less than four minutes remaining, Lamb hits Cookie, and the bruising fullback runs to the Broncos' four. out and in to climax a great and heart-stopping victory. Ooh, nice going, guys. Another touchdown for Lou Saban's boys. Lou really pulls the team together to make plays like that look easy. And you know, Here's the way to make bill paying easy, too. Just handle your money affairs at Marine Trust. No matter where you live or work in western New York, you'll find a convenient full-service Marine Trust office nearby. Excuse me. It's my turn at quarterback. If money problems of any kind give you the rush, you can get help in a hurry from any of Marine Trust's 62 offices. Stop in at the next one you pass. The best in banking service is Marine Trust's goal, and you're always in on the score. The mercurial doobie palpitated 33,247 Weatherby Darn fans and earned the Bills a national publicity spread with his performance against Boston.
spectacular reception of Rab's first period pass. It sets up Cookie's two-yard touchdown joint. Larry Guerin starts the real excitement by carrying Matt Rojo's ensuing kickoff back 95 yards as Boston scores again. But now what? Willie Jones has it, reverses the ball to DeBenyon, and the man with the golden wheels takes off. Leroy Moore promotes the Bills' lead touchdown in the second quarter by intercepting a screen pass and stepping into the end zone. Ray Carlton and Gilchrist pack leather on this nine-play drive from the Patriots' 43 in the third period. in from the seven to give Buffalo a two touchdown lead. Boston rallies to gain a tie helped out by an official ruling that nullifies Archie Metzo's TD interception on this play. Carlton had his greatest day as the Bills proved to be the rudest type guests of the Chargers in sunny San Diego. The former Duke star rolled overland for 95 yards to face Buffalo's devastating scoring barrage. Cookie starts things off in the first quarter, turning the corner on a 22-yard scoring junket. Edgerson picks off an errant pass and returns 38 yards, one of three key interceptions for the Bill. Carlton scores from 12 yards out. On this play, Ray runs the trap for 25 more. Carlton again. 14 yards for the touchdown. Rab does some throwing, too. And how? 68 yards to Doobie for the tally-ho. Then a 13-yarder to Glenn Bass as the Bills run up a 37-0 halftime lead and coast in. The Buffalo defensive unit, personified here by Booker Edgerson, Tom Sestak, and Sid Youngleman, saved the day at Oakland as the Bills, perhaps suffering a natural letdown, had to scramble all the way to earn a baseball score victory over the Raiders. Defensive tackle Youngleman takes the heat off with this fumble recovery deep in Bills' territory. Key tackle Sestak nails Cotton Davidson for a seven-yard loss. First-year defensive back Edgerson stops an Oakland drive with this interception. In the second half, Jack Kemp debuts at quarterback and gets the Bills on track with a 14-yard strike to Ernie Warlock. plays later, Kemp threads the needle with a pass to Wayne Crow for the game's only touchdown. Late in the game, Jack demonstrates his running ability, taking off on a 28-yard scamper. Crow picks 
up 23 more as time runs out and the Bills sweep in the West. Jack Kemp made his first start at quarterback in Boston and performed well with 14 pass completions and 22 attempts. However, the Bills, minus their twin running threats, Gilchrist and Carlton, for most of the game, lost their first start in seven outings to the championship-hungry Patriots. In the early going, Kemp rifles a 49-yard pass to DeBinion that carries to the Boston Six. Jack rolls for the TD, and things are looking up. The Bills are driving again. Here's a long pass to Doobie that's good, but no good as the Bills are detected holding. After Boston scores, the Bills battle back again. Kemp to Bass for 31 yards. Then a pass to Gilchrist for 11 more. But the mark stalls deep in Patriot territory. In the third period, the Bills trail by seven. Kemp hits Cookie for 22 yards, but the big guy jams an ankle on the play and has to leave the game. Here's a 20-yard Kemp to Warlick connection. The Bills settle grudgingly for Mac Yoho's 36-yard field goal, but it isn't enough, and Boston carries the night. Big, powerful, and vastly underrated Ernie Warlick collars nine Jack Kemp passes, seven in the first half, to lead the Bills to victory over the power-laden Dallas Texans, who eventually won the 1962 championship. 35,261 fans, largest AFL crowd ever to watch a game in Buffalo, roared their approval. This pitch out to Gilchrist gained 12 yards and put the ball on the Dallas 39. A Kemp to Warlick pass good for 12 yards established the pattern of the game. More of the same, this time good for 11 yards. Kemp fires for Doobie. Interference is called on the Texans, too. Kemp to Tom Riley for the touchdown. In the second period, linebacker Mike Stratton recovers a Dallas fumble on the Texans' 16. A few plays later, Kemp spots Warlick again, and Ernie makes a brilliant touchdown catch. Fourth period. Dallas has scored twice to make it uncomfortably close. Kemp hits Warlick for 17 yards. to Cookie, who carries to the 15. There's that man again. Lurley gathers in a 15-yard. Four plays later, Gilchrist plows two yards for the insurance TD. alert defense preserves the triumph as Willie West makes a key interception late in the game. In the final minute of play, Willie does it again, picking one off in the end zone to halt the final Dallas threat. 
rookie breaks the 1,000-yard barrier and scores all the points as the Bills complete their first winning season against the Titans at the Polo Grounds in New York. A battle of field goals in the first half. Then early in the second, Gilchrist booms up the middle for long yardage. It's all for naught, however, as the Bills draw a holding penalty. This time, the play counts, and Cookie gets 20 yards on the draw. Breaker, a 43-yard TV scamper that puts Cookie over the 1,000-yard mark in rushing. Gilchrist toes the mark on the extra point try. crashing 30 yards for the final touchdown of the season, leaving his indelible stamp of power on prostrate Titan body. In a moment, you'll meet the head man of the Bills, Coach Lou Saban. 